Good evening, and welcome to the Brian Crumby Radio Hour on Saga 960. I want to um, broadcast tonight an interview I did with Gil Penalosa, who uh, ran for mayor uh, last fall for the mayor of Toronto, uh, came in second, got 100,000 votes, which is actually more votes than any mayor in the whole GTA, uh, mayor candidate in the whole GTA, other than John Tory, uh, got. Uh, so it's a significant accomplishment. This uh, was recorded um, last week on uh, on Friday, uh, before Mayor Tory's announcement. And so um, I think it's interesting because it, what's, it, it is what Gill had to say about Toronto, urban affairs uh, issues, uh, uh, housing issues, uh, gardener issues, uh, transit issues, etc., cetera, uh, before it became uh, possible that uh, he might be running in a by-election. Uh, so I think it's, uh, it is actually really kind of interesting that these are his opinions at that time uh, prior to any, any chance that there might be uh, a by-election. I have to also say that I was very disappointed with uh, with the announcement on uh, Friday, um, and I and I really worry about the demands that are made on politicians today. This may not be politically correct, uh, but I really wonder if John Tory needed to resign. I think that uh, what what he was doing is an issue, unquestionably, for him and his family. Um, but I'm not sure it's an issue for the Toronto Star. Uh, and or for the the electorate in uh, in Toronto, I don't think it harms uh, or changes his uh, his ability to be a an excellent mayor. Um, I guess that's really up to the elector, uh, the election uh, people, the the electors of Toronto to decide. And I kind of hope that if he has resigned, that he actually puts his name forward again uh, in the by election and runs for his uh, his spot again. And uh, it'll be interesting to see. I think it would be very interesting to see. If uh, if people would still vote for him, um, given what uh, he announced on uh, Friday, uh, but I think that some of these, you know, older, more puritanical attitudes um, are inconsistent with our society today. Um, if there was a misuse of city assets, that's a different story, and and we don't know yet whether there were. Um, but uh, if this was a consensual relationship between two adults and there was no coercion involved. Um, I think that it, uh, and Rosie D'Amano um, did a really good editorial in the Toronto Star where she criticized the Toronto Star and uh, and and their announcement of uh, uh, of this and, and their pursuit of uh, the issue. Uh, and I think she was right. Um, I think that uh, to assume that any female um, that is uh, of age, uh, is an adult um, and is in a, a position that is junior to someone else is somehow victimized um, and cannot have a consensual relationship, I think is wrong. I think people are stronger um, and probably always have been, but certainly today. I don't think there's any suggestion that this is anything close to a casting couch kind of uh, scenario. Um, and I think that uh, issues of of uh, of this like are best left for families to deal with where there is no question a relevant issue but i don't think this is for front page for the star and i don't think this is something that uh, should have caused him to automatically resign if there's city assets or misuse of city assets involved that's a different story but we don't know that uh, as of yet uh, all we know i think is that there was a consensual relationship between two adults um that uh that work together which i don't think is a reason for him to resign um, anyway, my two cents worth. But that said, still really interesting to hear what Gil Penalosa had to say about uh, Toronto before this announcement came out. So that's what we're going to go to right now. Stay with us.